Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you my attempt um, at making a Tasmanian Devil. So this was one that was requested many, many times in my Facebook lives and I've always put off doing it because I've not been very good at doing Tasmanian Devils. They always end up a little bit ugly when I do make them. Um, so this was another attempt at, from me at it. So we're starting with a teardrop shape for the body. If you want to watch the full length video guys as well, don't forget to check it out over on my Facebook page. It's still available to watch there. Um, what we're going to do is in the wider end, we're using the Dresden tool or the flower and leaf veining tool to press in an indentation at each side. Can you see this is going to give us kind of like the chunky part of the legs. And I'm using my knife blade on its side to press in so that we get like this V shape. So I'm holding the body upside down at the moment. Just press a line from the end of that V towards sort of the bottom of the body. There we go. So it helps more if I turn it that way up, doesn't it, for you guys to be able to tell what I'm doing. And they've got like a white marking across the front. So we're going to put a little, little white piece on there. This is modeling paste we're using as well today, guys. I'm going to put links below the video to everything that, that I've used for this. So I've kind of pulled the line around a little bit so it's, it's more waved shaped. I don't know if it's the exact same pattern on each Tasmanian Devil or if it's the same on each one. So I was having a bit of a play around to see what it looks like if I textured it. But I actually think I preferred it smooth. I know they're a furry animal. I was playing around with just putting lines in with my Dresden tool and snipping it in with little nail scissors, which have not been used for nails, by the way, guys. I only use them for cake stuff. But I think I preferred it smooth. But we're going to need feet anyway, so I want four kind of tic tac shaped and sized pieces in the same colour as the body. And we're just going to push them on in front of each of the legs. So each of those bits along the bottom, like so. Put in our little toe marks. So two lines and putting in each one. So it's not overly realistic, guys, this one that we're doing. And I have been weighing the paste in the videos. I know I haven't always told you the weights in the Facebook video. So you can usually see the weight on the scales as well, guys. But if not, do pop over to the full version of the video, which is on Facebook. Okay, so we start with a ball. And can you see I'm kind of pulling it around? So it's slightly narrower at the top. And we've pulled it out a little bit at the nose area. You can't tell a lot because I've not done it much. And then we've got like this kind of mucky pink colour, which is a bit of pink and black mixed together. A tiny, tiny bit of black. And we're pushing this piece onto the nose. So we almost pull it out in like three areas and press it down fairly firmly against the face. A little line going up the middle just there. A smaller ball for under that gap, so that's going to be the bottom of the mouth area. And we want an oval of black for the nose. We're just going to squeeze that on there like that. And then some little dots for where the whiskers come from. I don't know what these bits are called. And that's the tool I'm using. Again, I'll put links below. I'm just going to put a little hole under each sort of side of the mouth area there because I want to be able to push teeth in. But if I push them into the hole, they should hold in a little bit better. So we've got some tiny pieces of white there for the teeth. Let's just push those in there. You can use a bit of water to hold it in place as well or edible glue, guys. And a slight dip where I want each eye to go. And I think we're going to keep it fairly plain. So we're just going to add like one of the sugar pearls. But first I'm adding a ball of the same colour as like that nose or muzzle area. And I'm pressing it down so we get a dip. So the eyes are going to go in the middle of this. Now, I think it probably would have looked cuter if I'd gone for larger eyes. But I noticed on the photos of Tasmanian Devils, they have fairly small eyes. So we go for a smaller sugar pearl. I think this is a four millimetre one. I'll double check and put links below, guys. So for the ears, we've got... A little disc of grey, so it's a ball that I've squashed flat. And then a smaller ball of the pink that we've squashed flat into it. And then we cut it in half so we get two rough kind of semicircles. Just stretching them out a little bit in the middle using my Dresden tool. So it brings it to a tiny bit more of a point. And then we're going to press them on the head. You see I'm bending them slightly when we press them onto the head. Now you might need a bit of water at the bottom of each of those ears to hold it in place. If you've got quite warm sticky hands when you're doing this you might not need the water. And I don't think it needs this bit, but I added it anyway. We roll some little tiny little carrot shapes or teardrop shapes and we just stick them on the head so you had like a bit of he or she, whichever my Tasmanian devil was, had some hair on the top of the head. Okay. Now, if you've got plenty of time, you can just balance it on there like so. If you're going to be moving it around a lot and you're worried about it breaking, you can always add some internal support like a wooden skewer um, or a lollipop stick. I think on this one, I'm not going to need to, so I'm going to go without that internal support. I've just used water to hold it together. And when I was looking at pictures, they had these little pink bits above kind of their eyebrow area. Some did, some didn't. 
Um, and then somebody in the Facebook Live said I should remove them because apparently they're some kind of cancerous lump. So we got rid of those. And then we give it a little sausage shape for the tail. And they kind of are a little bit bushier at the end of the tail than anywhere else. So we put more hairlines on the end. I don't think they have an overly bushy tail though. I, I didn't do a lot of research into the Tasmanian devils. Okay. And you know, you could, you could add more texture, more lines if you want to. Again, I think I preferred it pretty plain. If you want to give it some blush, you can use some edible pink powder on the cheek area. It's up to you. I don't think it needed it, but I like to give everything pink blush anyway. Just, I don't know why. <laughs> I just do. So there's that Tasmanian devil. I can't remember if anybody named it or not, this one in the Facebook Live. But yeah, there he is. All done. Don't forget the longer versions over on the Facebook page. And I hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Thanks for watching. If you like the video, be sure to hit the thumbs up button and leave me a comment below. You can see more of my tutorials by clicking on the images on screen now. If you haven't already, make sure you click the subscribe button to stay up to date with my future tutorials. There are also links in the description box below where you can find me on Facebook, Instagram and more.